So here we go with part two of buses, bancas, and transportation. Uh, now this truck uh, is full of various and sundry vegetables, uh, cebuyas and uh, onions and uh, all kinds of uh, stuff. And uh, stopped outside of our house uh, and uh, a lot of the neighborhood people uh, came over to uh, purchase uh, the uh, the vegetables, uh, onions, garlic, I forget what else was on there. And um, it probably, I believe, it came down from uh, Pangasinan, which is a uh, province north of uh, Zambales, uh, probably stopping at towns uh, along the way and, and selling as they, uh, as they went along. And they, uh, we're we're not we're uh, on the main road by any means we're oh four or five at least i'd have to look at the map uh, but we're about five or six even blocks off the main road so they ply uh the back streets to uh to make their sale uh this is obviously a truck that's been used a lot, uh, no door. Uh, but I found the interesting uh, part of this is that he was delivering sand and um, uh, to, uh, we, we needed sand to make um, cement because, uh, or were we making concrete? I always get cement and concrete mixed up. You guys can let me know which is which, but in any event, uh, it's when we were fixing the Sari Sari store and, and uh, building our uh, uh, new walls and so forth. Anyway, interesting thing I found here was that uh, the side, uh, as you note, the side of the um, bed went up so they could shovel out the side instead of shoveling out the narrower uh, back and it made it a little easier to position the truck uh, so it wasn't quite as much in the way uh, as if they had had to uh, uh, shovel out the back. And then of course motorcycles. Uh, and nothing too remarkable about motorcycles except I found interesting uh, they have a type of motorcycle there that I don't think I'd seen anywhere else um, uh, this one it's called an underbone and you'll note um, the way the frame uh, is uh, constructed it's it doesn't sort of go a, a, a straight across uh, it angles down uh, those of you who are old enough uh, may remember girls bicycles uh, and this is similar to that uh, in, in terms of construction you don't have uh, part of the uh, piece of the frame that goes straight across uh, that's not to say these are uh, ridden by girls uh, any more than than guys uh, as a matter of fact most often you will see guys uh, on uh, on a motorcycle uh, but that's why I, I put this one up. And then you have your typical motorcycles. Uh, I don't remember. This one might have been, it might be a Rusi, which is a Chinese model that's fairly uh, common over there. And uh, typically motorcycles, uh, the, the largest displacement I've noticed is about 175. 155 is common. Uh, 125 is probably the most common and uh, they get down to 100 uh, cc's uh, displacement. Um, the 155's and the, uh, occasionally you'll see a 175 are the most typical tricycle uh, engine sizes. Oh and then here's one this is uh, I'm not even sure this could be a Rusi or not a Rusi uh, I know it is a Rusi that uh, Bud Brown has. Um, check out his videos if you get a chance. Uh, uh, Bud Brown uh, living in the Philippines. Yeah, baby. Anyway, he um, just purchased uh, a little while ago uh, a style of uh, motorcycle much like this. Uh, uh, his is called a chariot, but I, I just point this out because this is a Coca-Cola delivery 
truck slash uh, motorcycle slash tricycle. It has two wheels in the rear, which you'll see here. Uh, it just sort of caught them as they were going by. Didn't have a chance to get a good shot of it. And then, of course, the owner type uh, Jeeps. This is not the Beast. Uh, this is one that we occasionally borrowed uh, prior to getting the Beast. Uh, lots of room for kids in the back. And I think uh, inside, I don't think that had well, that one, I don't think had a back seat. Uh, so there's uh, probably only room for three or four people in the front. And again, uh, typical uh, types of uh, vehicles that you're likely to see anywhere in the States. Slightly different versions, perhaps. This is in uh, San Antonio, across from the uh, Municipal Hall. There's an uh, Isuzu. That's the uh, vehicle that the uh, real estate guy drove us around in. When, and that's the, uh, uh, the road outside of our beach property. And that's the original fence around our beach property. This was, I think, uh, probably the first day when we, uh, that we uh, went there. Here's a Toyota, uh, again, SUV type. We'd taken that over to uh, Nueva Ecija, which is another uh, province. Uh, I'm not going into detail about why we did that, but that was a, a long, sad story. Uh, Nora and I went along uh, for the ride. They, there was another fellow who was driving. Uh, but typical car, this is at a rest area along the way. And then we come to the uh, ubiquitous, uh, quintessential, uh, throw in your own uh, uh, adjective, uh, tricycle. Uh, the first one there is a Honda, the red, because uh, it's a TMX, I, I can tell. And the second one is also a Honda. Uh, I suspect those are both 155 cc's. And uh, you can fit all um, scads of people in there. Now, the one thing I've noted, and I don't have uh, pictures of it, but if you go to, uh, for example, Bud Brown's uh, videos, you'll see uh, occasionally his friend uh, Tano takes him uh, around uh, uh, place to place uh, in his tricycle when their chariot or molly mobile isn't working. And uh, you'll note that uh, down that way in Dumaguete, uh, the tricycles, the driver has a roof over him and the roof of the passenger is much, much higher. Uh, these things, uh, at least in San Antonio and other places uh, down in Longapo that I've seen, are l very low to the ground and the roofs, I think they're making lower and lower and lower. So it's, uh, I'm not that big and it can be a, a little bit of a struggle to get in there. For me. This is uh, an old tricycle we built for, uh, we built, we bought for my uh, brother-in-law. This is a 125 cc's and um, uh, he's fixed it up a little bit since then. Uh, the original plan was that he would actually uh, be a tricycle driver for a while, but that didn't uh, work out. I forget exactly what happened, but it didn't work out. And uh, so now that it's their part of their family uh, transportation, although they do use the beast when we're not there. You'll note there is a roof over him, and the, uh, if you compare this with the previous uh, one, uh, the roof on the passenger compartment is higher. Uh, but nowadays, I don't know if they're trying to make them look fancy or something, so they're just not as comfortable as they used to be. Now you'll note uh, on this one, uh, it's kind of blurry because it was taken um, on not as good a camera, uh, driving, uh, don't t tell anyone, driving one-handed, uh, I was driving the jeepney that day, and so things were a little bit shaky. Uh, anyway, these are schoolgirls on their way to school. This is in San Antonio, and uh, that's a tricycle. The difference between the one, uh, and, and it's sort of like the last ones you saw. There are probably four girls three or four girls sitting behind the tricycle driver. There are three girls sitting on the baggage 
uh, rack on the back of the tricycle sidecar and there I think when they got out because we got to the school and they got out uh, I think there were four or five girls inside so let's see uh, let's say three plus three is six plus another four at least is ten plus the driver is eleven uh, and I suspect that was, I know that that was no larger than a uh, 155cc and it could have been a 125cc motorcycle that was doing its best to pull that, that load along. These are um, high school age, so uh, I mean they're not heavy people, but there was a bunch of them. Now the other thing uh, tricycles uh, are used for, uh, is uh, aside from moving people, is freight. This uh, one came down again from Pangasinan, and uh, obviously, as you take a guess, he's selling uh, wicker and uh, rattan types of uh, goods. There is uh, upon the very top that roundish thing is called a duyan. Uh, you hook ropes to either end, put them between a couple of trees or posts or whatever you got, and uh, uh, rock the baby. That's just a nice little baby cradle type of thing. Uh, I think uh, those other uh, square ones, squarish ones, are probably uh, like clothes hampers or whatever else you wanted to put in there. Uh, the red is a net kind of thing, uh, various and sundry types of baskets, uh, a couple of brooms in the front there, I think. Uh, I can't even name all of that stuff that he's got there. And then on the back is, uh, oops, uh, on the back is, oh, another Duyon, some more brooms, um, just all kinds of stuff. Now again, this uh, fellow came down from Pangasinan. Now that's probably um, on a tricycle like that, that's going to take you three hours, I think. Uh, probably, depending on where in Pangasinan they started. Uh, so that's going to be a, a bit of a trip. Uh, and again, we're not on the main road. And so he probably, uh, when he got to town, started driving up and down the the back streets and uh, uh, beeping his horn, letting people know he was there, and then he would stop occasionally, and people would come out and buy whatever it was they uh, they needed. Uh, another thing, uh, tricycle. Oh well, this is, of course a different type of tricycle. This is a human-powered tricycle. This was um, Lido. He was our uh, fish vendor for a while. He would come around. Uh, to the house, go up and down all of the streets, not just our house, of course, but he would come uh, and uh, sell fish, uh, fresh fish, because uh, he would be uh, at the beach uh, and or the market early in the morning. He actually lived uh, on the beach and uh, fishermen would come back in from a night's fishing and uh, so the fish was really nine times out of ten extremely fresh uh, and, uh, and very good. He would uh, Gives us a good deal, and uh, he, uh, thing I liked about him, he always had the biggest smile. Uh, but that was uh, that was Lido and his uh, fish vending tricycle. Uh, this is uh, very similar to Lido's uh, tricycle. This one we got from my sister-in-law, who has since passed on, uh, and uh, so she could uh, ride it from her house uh, to our place and wouldn't have to worry about a paying for a tricycle. So it's basically just a small, uh, almost a BMX style bike with, uh, with a sidecar attached. And this is uh, uh, another one of the, the same uh, types of uh, vehicles. That's, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember. I think her name was Dolly. Uh, but she's uh, a woman who would uh, come around and um, on death anniversary of uh, one of your relatives, she would, you could hire her, she would come and uh, she would uh, spend an hour or so uh, offering prayers 
Uh, it's something that's uh, very commonly done uh, uh, there in the Philippines. And uh, I just thought that was kind of a, a neat picture as she uh, sort of rode off uh, one day with a holding her umbrella and uh, the kid uh, pedaling her back home. She's uh, since passed. This was a while ago. Well, uh, so that's our uh, look at transportation, uh, some types of transportation in the Philippines. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And uh, hope you had a good day and have another one tomorrow. Have a, have, a, have, a good, have a good week. Have a good week on me. That'd be good. All right. We'll see you.